Okay, questions? Is that, uh, is that more what you think this offense can be um, on Saturday for the most part? Um, for the most part, yeah. This, this offense really just comes down to ex just being ex executing what we need to do. When we did what we were supposed to do, I mean, we scored. I mean, now it just comes that we need to make sure we maintain that level of focus, that level of execution, and that's just a that's just a personal thing that we need to just drive home in everyone. Matt, you guys have been talking about wanting what you see in practice to translate to the field. Do you feel like you took some positive steps in that regard this week? We moved in the right direction, but we didn't um, move far enough. I mean, we still had. We still had mistakes that really should never happen in a game. And I mean, it, it, it's turned to a point where you just yourself, you need to find a way that you're going to do your job and you're going to do your job as perfect as you can. There's no excuses. You just have to find a way to get it done. How about those mistakes? Is there one or two in particular that, that come to mind that just can't happen? Uh, just like alignment errors, false starts. I mean, those those are things that just really shouldn't happen. I mean. We know what we're supposed to do, and that those, like I was saying, it's just a lack of focus, and we just got to correct it. And I, I know we will. Hey Matt, um, it's hard to know uh, unless unless you know what your assignments are when you watch film, like what happened on a play. Um, can you describe the the last play offensively for, for you guys? Fourth down um, rollout with Noah, where um, I think the middle linebacker came through, and, and then. There was a hole. Um, what 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 happened there with with the line? I mean, just how do you, how do you guys see that one when you watch film? Um, just a missed assignment. Um, I'm trying to I, I'm trying to think of exactly what the protection is, but um, what it just comes down like he he got flushed out of the pocket by a pressure, and that pressure really shouldn't have happened. And so in doing so, it kind of it threw him off his rhythm. It threw everything off his game. And what it comes again, that's just a. That's an MA on knowing who you have, knowing what you got to do. And those are things that you have to take personal and you have to find a way to just get it done. It doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter how you feel in the game. It doesn't matter if you feel a little banged up. Everyone's kind of banged up. You have to just have an intent and a drive to make sure that your job is going to be completed and it's going to be completed as perfect as you can make it. So I know it's always you take a next man up approach, but what does it say? You've seen three quarterbacks play. You can talk about uh, an offense performance that was good, but could be a little bit better, given that you played with your number two and number three quarterback for the entire afternoon. I mean, uh, they, they they both did a great job. Um, they're really, I don't I don't really know how they could have really done it better themselves. I mean, they sold out and they did everything that was asked for them. I mean, it just um, we got to make sure that we continually give him as much time as possible, give him a clean pocket. And then on top of that, we need to make sure that our run game um, is as good as it can be. Because um, honestly, all all of our quarterbacks are great players, and they're 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 really good at what they do. But we need to make sure that we can allow them to do what they do. You guys grade out pretty high, 514 yards. Um, we did all right. Our our grades um, really just come down to. Um, Technique. I mean, we we did a we did a better job of getting our jobs done, staying on our man. It's just cleaning up the technique still. So I mean, G's also um, pretty picky on that, and which is a great thing. I mean, if it's not perfect, you're not getting the you're not getting a check mark on it, and that's one thing I really respect. If it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. You got he'll he'll say you got the job done, but it can be better. Was it one of your? I mean, did you guys perform according to him better? One of your better games this season. Yeah, we had we had a we did a much better job finishing our blocks. Technique was still a little bit off, but um, for the most part, we did a much much better job of just staying on our guys and driving guys off the ball. I know there's 150 guys in the locker room, so it's hard to get a pulse for everybody. But uh, what what did you see as a general reaction to what Scott Frost said to you guys after the game, and what he told the public? Um, really, we just. Like it, it comes down to just being personal. I mean, take every rep um, personal. I mean, in practice, there, there can't be a, 
you can't ever relax. You can't ever take a playoff like maybe like yeah, you know, I'm kind of tired. I'll I'll go 75 percent. It needs to be 100 percent every time because those little things they add up and they will show. And those little let like you know easing off the gas, those show up in the game. Those are what are lead to the lack of focus. That's what leads to us making mistakes. And I mean, I think everyone kind of took it personal and. I, I mean, we know he's right because that's we we've hurt ourselves now, and I mean we've hurt ourselves to losing it at least two games for sure. I mean we just shot ourselves in the foot when when we needed it most, we we lacked the focus to get it done, and I mean I I think people are kind of we're finally kind of understanding like how and why it's so we need to be so intent and so and um, just focused on what we do. Kind of a, what kind of a sense do you get, Matt, on guys' ability to refocus right now? I mean, it's pretty clear when you're four and four, and there's four games left. What you know, what's out there for you, and what you need to do? Um, I, I'd say it's getting a lot better. Uh, we we've learned that. I mean, like I was saying, everything you do has to be intentional. Everything has to be driven. And I mean, uh, even today, it was it was much better. Everyone made sure that their job was getting done. They didn't care how what they had to do, but they were going to find a way to make sure they won and they did their job correctly. Matt, uh, kind of playing off of that, uh, specifically, how important is it for you guys to get to a bowl game? Um, it's as important as always. I mean, we don't, want to, we don't want to stop playing football. We want to try and play football as long as we can. And with this team, you only get one shot. This, this team is the only team that's going to be like it. I mean, the senior, when the seniors are gone, the team's going to be different. And I mean, we, we love those guys all across the board and we want to make sure we can kind of spend as much time and play together as long as we can because there are some great guys there. And I mean, they've, they've been working their tail off. They've been working as hard as they can and they've been trying to set the example. And I mean, uh, we, like, I personally, I want to make sure that they get that right. Is it, is it crucial for you guys to get those extra practices to go along with it for the program to continue developing? What, what do you well, you guys get extra practices and oh, yeah. you go to a bowl. Okay, those, are, those always help. I mean, the longer you get to play football, the more you get to execute and you get to work on the craft of the game. So, I mean, those, those extra practices are as vital as anything. Now, what has Wondell's emergence just done for this offense as far as helping you maybe get a rhythm and a flow of the games that he's been able to do that? I mean, he's, he's a special character. I mean, I mean it's, it's been pretty evident ever since he even got here. I mean, he's... He's he's a great worker. He's a hard worker, and I mean, he's he's he doesn't really have that freshman mentality of waiting. I mean, he wants to just attack, and he's going to find a way to make it make a play happen. I mean, it, it's pretty awesome when he and when we can when we do our job right and we get him out in the open field or we get him off off the edge. I mean, there's not too many too many people that can really catch him. I mean, he's one of the fastest people I think I've ever seen. And if, when we get when we get him. Um, to the right spot and use him properly and uh, get him through the holes. I mean, good things happen. And as a, as a captain and upperclassman, what do you make of guys like Wandale and other freshmen really speaking out after the game about the culture and, and them? Um, I mean, he, he. I mean, he's right. I mean, if it's not good enough, it's not good enough. It doesn't matter if you feel if you feel that it's not good enough, it's not good enough. I mean, in in my opinion, it should there should never really be a doubt. If there's a doubt, it's not good enough. And so, I mean, he voices uh, his thoughts and how he felt, and I mean, he's not wrong. I mean, if, if that's how he felt, that's how he feels, and that means we're not doing a good enough job of really keeping the culture in for the, and so, I mean, it is what it is, how he says it, and I know, I know how we're moving, and I know how it's going. So, I mean, we'll, we're just gonna keep working on it. Anything else for Matt? Okay, thank you.